Yes, people, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all doing well. So Manchester United are through to the next round of the FA Cup. We are in to the last day and we will take on Liverpool in the next round. That's thanks to a late, late Casemiro goal at the City ground against Nottingham Forest to take Manchester United into the next round. But it wasn't pretty. It was going to take a goal from a set piece for either side to win this. Both teams were poor in this game and we'll be dissecting Manchester United's performance from back to front in this video. But before we do that and before we go any further, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button, get liking, commenting, sharing and all that. Get your thoughts in the comments below because Man United have Man City coming up and of course Liverpool next in the cup. We have still got something to fight for. As I said, I feel like our chances of getting Champions League football um, in terms of getting top four this season in the league are all but gone after that abysmal performance against Fulham. And I'm hoping Manchester United could have just saved, um, you know, some hope in their season with that performance. Well, with that result against Nottingham Forest at the city ground. Big goal from Casemiro. Manchester United were frustrated throughout the game. Um, we had a few opportunities, yes, but... There were, weren't any good performances, really, from anyone. Um, can't think of anyone that really stood out for Manchester United. Thought Diogo Delo was probably our best player. Created two opportunities for Manchester United, which both came um, to Scott McTominay. Uh, one of them drawing a good save from the goalkeeper in the first half. Uh, Manchester United had a few other half chances. But apart from that, not much to write home about. And then in the second half, um, I thought both teams uh, were quite poor. I expected a little bit more to come from Nottingham Forest. Um, I expected a little bit more um, from Manchester United. Um, that didn't happen. Um, but United did stick in there. We didn't concede. I thought Andre Onana had a good game um, in the end um, as well from him. Uh, a few good saves um, being drawn from him. A one year had three or four attempts at goal um, and Andre Onana did well. Um, but Manchester United weren't great but we got the result and we're through to the next round of the cup and we're in that hat and we're going to play Liverpool. Liverpool beating Southampton um, today 2-0 at Anfield, which sees them through uh, to the next round as well. Um, Man City are taking on Newcastle. Um, you've got Chelsea into the next round as well. Um, I forgot who Chelsea are playing. Let me just have a look here. Chelsea will take on Leicester. And you've also got Wolves against Coventry, um, a next tie um, in the game, uh, in in the competition as well. Um, Liverpool, in fact, getting a third goal against Southampton as we are speaking. But Manchester United getting the result. And as I said, um, for me, the performance not great. But we needed to bounce back after that abysmal performance and result against Fulham. And we did that in terms of getting the result. Um, Andre Onana thought had a good game. Diogo Delo played well. I thought Varane was, was was decent at times in the game. There was obviously a worry over him and whether he was going to be fit. Um, Victor Lindelof, you know, didn't do too badly as well. Obviously looking more comfortable at centre-back. Um, we had Sofian Amrabat who looked really rusty in the first half. His first touch not good, putting a few um, of his teammates into trouble at times. There was a few fantastic passes from him, to be fair. Um, but generally looked rusty and did grow into the game a little bit. Um, although was substituted in that second half, um, which saw Johnny Evans coming on um, for Manchester United. A Casemiro in the midfield, I don't think he had a particularly good game despite getting a goal. Um, I don't think he had a particularly good game at all. Um, but that goal hopefully gives him a little bit of confidence going forward. Um, Scott McTominay um, had those two chances in the first half, but don't think he did enough um, in midfield, which is what we say all the time about him. Um, I don't think he's particularly good when it comes to being a midfielder um, and showing for the ball and winning the ball back and doing all those kind of things. And Manchester United today, due to the poor performance of um, Casemiro in the first half and the poor performance of Scott McTominay in that midfield, um, we had a massive hole in front of the defence. And that's why I can't really argue with the performance of the defenders, really. Maybe at times you'd like them to do a bit, bit more coming out from the back um, and getting that ball forward. But I don't think the midfield played well in front of them at all. Bruno Fernandes had another one of those games. Got the assist in the end and it was a fantastic cross from him um, to get the goal and to get the winner. But I thought his performance in general was pretty poor. Um, and, you know, it was again another one of those ones where he's just constantly moaning and whining. And I think he's got to do a little bit more, you know. Um, you, can, you can see things are looking very 
negative constantly for Manchester United from minute zero onwards. And I just think you've got to like, G people up a little bit sometimes. Garnacho made a poor pass. Granted, it was a poor pass. Um, or he should have passed the ball earlier. I can't remember the particular. But I remember him just kind of moaning at him. And it's like, come on, just encourage him to do better. There's, a, there's different ways at it. Um, and I just feel there's too much moaning sometimes. And I get it. It's frustrating. We want to be doing better as a football team. I feel the same way. Um, but I just think the constant moaning is not good for anybody, man. Um, as I said, fantastic cross um, for the assist. Uh, for the goal, but just you need a little bit more from your captain sometimes, I think. And I know I've just kind of criticised the man that made the goal and scored the goal, but they're two of our experienced players and we need to be performing better as a team. Another one of our experienced players, I thought Rashford, poor today. Again, we need a little bit more. Granted, we didn't create... I, I wrote it down in my phone, actually, because I wanted to make sure I got it right. Um, I'm not one for making a huge amount of notes, but I made... Um, where is it? So we had, obviously, he got sandwiched inside the box, which I thought possibly a penalty, you know. Um, he got a little knock from that. That was after an hour. I thought that was a little bit sus. Maybe could see that given. The defender didn't, sorry if anyone heard that. The defender didn't seem to make any attempt to get the ball. It looked like a penalty. But 82 minutes finally create a chance for Rashford. Bruno flicks him in. So I understand, but then at times you've got to stay up top as well. You've got to stay up top, got to stay in the box, got to keep going. I know it's frustrating at times and the chances aren't coming, but you've got to keep going in the chance that it does come. And sometimes you can force a pass. Sometimes you can force a pass. Um, it's mad there. I was just showing it back now that the, the time it took to check whether Casemiro was offside. Granted, they were checking Varane's influence. Okay, fair enough. But then the Casemiro one, he was clearly onside. How are you checking that for so long? They're trying their best to just rule it out. I don't know how I, I don't know how VAR takes so long over things like that. It was just so obviously onside, I thought, from from the replays that we were seeing. So five minutes added on, and then we played about 10-11 because of the fact that we had so much time added on for that VAR decision. But it was a VAR decision that thankfully went our way as the goal was given. Um, look, as you can probably tell by my voice, not much to write home about. I am delighted with the result though because. I love the FA Cup and it gives us an opportunity to possibly win something. Although it's looking quite competitive when we look at that draw, you got City or Newcastle are going to be in the in, in the semi-final. You'd argue that's probably going to be City. Chelsea, Leicester, one of them. Argue that's probably going to be Chelsea. Then it's Wolves against Coventry. You'd argue that's probably going to be Wolves. Um, although they've still got to go and do the job. Um, so you're looking at you know possible semi-finalists of Wolves, Chelsea, Man City. So if Man United can beat Liverpool at home, home advantage, I think we do need to get some players back though because playing like that, we're not going to do well against City and we're not going to do well against Liverpool. We need to play a lot better, even with Liverpool's injuries. Um, but we got to rest Kobe Maino today, which is good ahead of that Manchester derby because we need him at it if we want to have a good game, I think, um, which is mad that we're relying on a young lad like that. We need Casemiro, Bruno, Rashford to be stepping up in that game. Um, and helping out Varane, I thought Varane and Lindelof were under the cosh a lot today. We need them to step up a little bit. We need to play better if we want to play uh, beat Man City or get anything against Manchester City. We've seen Haaland scoring goals for fun. And if we want to get through the next round against Liverpool, we have to be doing better um, against them. And hopefully there'll be some players back. You know, it's probably not going to be Luke Shaw, but hopefully you can get Rasmus Hoyland back. What's the situation? It's about two, three weeks away, that game, isn't it? Hopefully we can get the Sandro back. I don't know. We need them back though, man. Although I thought Varane and Lindelof were better than what we've seen in recent weeks without Lindelof. Uh, without, sorry, Lissandro Martinez. So maybe there's a way forward with that. Anyway, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. United are through, but suspect performance. See you in a bit.